What's going on guys welcome back to another session video today we got a new developer vlog by creature out today so we're going to go over all the things discussed we also got new gameplay footage of the version one build coming in september so let's jump right into it developer blog 2 last update made dev vlog was long overdue and was the first official studio communication since the launch of public update 2 in february since then we have been focused on playing and debugging the game while also reading your feedback engaging where we needed more info and generally listening to the takeaways from our community let's step back though and review what we announced last may in more detail okay so this is where they clear up some confusion transition and pumping integration this is not the same as vert this will be in version one so i know a lot of people thought that transition was getting cut it is not transition is still coming it's not the same thing as vert you won't you just won't be able to do melons and judos and christ airs pumping and transition allow the skater to skate anything on most angle surfaces up until they are fully vertical using player pumping and momentum to navigate and perform lip tricks this includes the ability to perform lip tricks while in transition think slopes and mini ramps not half pipes with 900 to make twists session world optimization is in full swing public update 2 introduced performance issues on certain systems slash configurations most notably in nyc leading to choppy or poor frame rate that is true i'm glad they're fixing that world optimization improves overall game performance and the consistency of the experience we're aiming to hit a constant fps on all systems game testing has picked up in full with the impending v1 deadline the realities of time money and quality have led to some tough conversations in the studio i know it all sounds so corporate but it's true that it's a balance of time money and quality as with all products there is a life cycle and hitting version one will not be the end of session skate sin it won't be the end it won't be the end the today stuff they're essentially hiring for positions they're hiring for animation 3d art sound design and quality assurance slash quality control so you guys can apply if you want to work with creature you can apply for these four positions finally the development updates okay the juicy stuff onboard navigations continue to be improved with transitions and bells and they tease those earlier today we have big drop input finally working i don't think big drop input has worked pretty much the entire time i've been playing session and we have the ability to do firecrackers using the power slide weight shift system now oh i'm so excited so excited for september i can't it can't come fast enough physics animation is helping improve the flow of skating making it feel more natural for the majority of cases however we still have some bugs we're working on aiming to find the balance of flow and quality changes to ground detection when in air have greatly improved the ability to air to fakie in a ramp and generally stay in transitions on minis and slopes as well as improving air outs and transitions out of banks or angles so they're essentially saying skating mini ramps and stuff like that and maybe even hip transfers those have been greatly greatly improved right now it's really really hard to do that stuff you can kind of do it like you can kind of do lip tricks you can kind of uh, skate transition but it's really really hard to do and this stuff is going to make it way better big drop landing is being revisited and debugged to ensure it adds the right type of challenge to the skating experience yes this is what i've been waiting for big drop landing is finally going to work it hasn't worked this entire time now we're finally going to have to input for landings when we jump off massive stair sets trick detection for grinds has been overhauled improving the overall feedback and accuracy of the trick display system this includes the ability to stay in a grind and continue through a curved rail or a ledge awesome trick detection further improves mission playthroughs as well as all challenge types historical challenges now require the right trick so historical challenges are finally going to be working their way they're supposed to work i've been waiting for this for the longest time because i'm sick of my historicals resetting so I, I haven't even done historical challenges this update. I'm just waiting for September for historicals. Ragdolls and slams have been integrated and are lots of fun. Adding bail and slam rules allowed us to remove a lot of quality issues we were seeing due to the player not bailing in all states or transitions. Having clear guidelines for bails leads to more consistent feedback on what will be achievable on board. A new disable 
auto respawn in Bales allows you just to capture the lasting effects of your in-game mayhem and antics. We've been producing pure gold in-house, so it's time for those hollow meat videos finally. Power slides fully transition through stances and allow the player to transfer weight from their nose to tail and everywhere in between. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the new power slides. Power slides and reverts are two different skill sets but are highly interchangeable. From the sound of that, it seems like we're still going to be able to double tap our triggers to do reverts, but you can still revert with power slides. I see a lot more people using the power slide revert method than double chapping their triggers. I see a lot of people from XL that try to play session and they revert unintentionally all the time. So I see them turning off normal reverts and only using the power slides. Working on each to ensure they account for the other will make the whole experience more consistent and therefore reliable. Firecrackers are one of the happy accidents from this marriage. Now the player can shift their weight to their tail in a power slide leading to some awesome and sometimes unpredictable results. We're gonna be, oh my God, <laughs> this is gonna be so awesome. Transit system rework with the updated bus routes and stations update. New map visuals with PIP for locations to help navigation fully implemented through the apartment and pause menu. Ooh, localized spawning on game boot. You will now spawn into the last city or a spot played as opposed to always starting at the banks. July and beyond. Oh God, we're gonna have a July dev vlog as well. I can't, I'm so excited for this game. We will continue to fix bugs and focus on gameplay consistency. What do we mean when we say consistency? It is the ability to read your likelihood of trick success based on your speed, angle of attack, and the timing of your execution. As it stands in version 00.72, we have too many variables that cannot be predictably managed by the player, leading to frustration that is often tied to complexity rather than consistency. The ideal scenario is to have a consistent trick or maneuver for a standard controller input, as well as speed, angle of attack, obstacle height, gap size, etc. Meaning, once you have the recipe on lock, it is the specifics of timing and flair that will make the difference and help your content stand out. Donovan will continue dropping session wisdom and updates on our social channels. And the July dev blog is just around the corner. The team is actively growing and excited for version one and beyond. Keep your eyes peeled for new session skate sim content at the Nikon Connect show on July 7th. There's going to be even more stuff coming <laughs> next week. That's just next week. So man, that was a lot to unpack guys. Thank you so much for joining the video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on Twitch. Peace.